Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back or to get over your ex. This week's video is a result of a comment someone left underneath one of my videos on YouTube and he said that he broke no contact after two months because another coach told him that he needed to build emotional attraction. How did it turn out? Well, stay tuned and you'll find out. But first, I wanna welcome back my beautiful No Contact Army. If you're having trouble staying in No Contact, then just download my app, Silencio. And if you're about to break it, hit the panic button and you'll get a little surprise. And the link to this is available underneath every video and every podcast. And if you too would like to join our beautiful No Contact Army, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you're in. And to read our manual, go to nocontactsecrets.com where you can read two free chapters before purchasing the book. That concludes this video portion. Stay tuned for the audio and I will see you next week. Okay, so do you need to rebuild an emotional connection in order to get your ex back? Well, I'm going to answer that question, but first I have a short success story. I think you're going to like this one, and here it is. After two years of no contact, I got a text which said, Happy New Year. How are you? I didn't reply. A phone call the day after. No reply again. She left a message. She said that she knows from some people that I'm doing well, and she's happy for me and she thanked me for what I brought while we were together. She's engaged, but not totally fulfilled. She misses our conversations and the sex we had. She'd like to meet me, but doesn't want to because that would be like cheating on her man. I would have killed to hear those words a year ago. Today, I'm moving next month to Spain with my amazing and glowing pregnant wife. Sometimes life makes amazing turns. Keep listening to Lucia. She knows her stuff. No contact works, but it's for you. Be strong, guys. It's long, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel, and man, what a light. Wow, what a twist that was, huh? Congratulations. I think that's um, an unexpected twist that no one was expecting. <laughs> okay, so I got a comment from a guy under one of the, under, underneath one of the videos, and I thought, okay, this needs a video because I bet there are other people making the same mistake and he said me and my ex are meeting up now but she's showing hot and cold behavior one day really warm kissing making out but then the next time being cold talking about stop seeing each other and just being friends not sure what to do should I go back to no contact so I said to him um, who contacted who? I had a feeling, but I had to ask. And so of course he says, well, we were broken up for two months. I contacted her. After viewing, and then he names a different coach, videos, and she was happy to meet me. She said she missed me, but she said she's in a rebound relationship. We met several times. She felt good and connected and intimate, but when we were together, the moment she goes home and she's alone, she feels disconnected and she's confused and she feels like she's gonna lose her freedom if we get back together. So I said, well, what exactly did this other coach say that made you break no contact after two months? And he said, well, he suggested to continue contact to create an emotional connection, which is better than no contact. So I got confused. So of course people love to break no contact. So of course they listen to people who tell them to break no contact. And this is what you get. So how did I know that he was the one who broke no contact? Well, probably the same way I knew that one of my clients did not do what I told her to do when her ex said that he wanted her back. He, she did not ask the six questions you ask your ex when you want them back because she contacted me and she says, well, we got back together for two months, but then he broke up with me. And I said, did you ask the six questions? She goes, no. So how do I know? Am I psychic? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> no, it's because these exes are acting squirrely, <laughs> meaning hot and cold, because 
if he had stayed in no contact, then she would have contacted him when she was no longer hot and cold, when she was no longer squirrely. And my client, she would not have been broken up with again after two months if she had asked the six questions. Everything I tell you to do is designed so that they will not be hot and cold. They will want to get back with you. They will not break up with you again. That's what every step along the way that I tell you to do is designed to do. Because otherwise, this is what happens. You get hot and cold, you get broken up with again. They're not ready and you don't, in a way, audition them to see if they are worthy of being in your life again. You know, I'm in Los Angeles, you know, Hollywood, where they make movies and you know, you've heard about actors auditioning for roles. What you probably don't know is that for definitely major roles, they make them audition like six times. You don't just audition once and it's like, okay, yeah, you got the role. It's like, no, no, no. There's a lot of money riding here and we need to make sure you are perfect for the role. So you audition once, then you audition again, then you audition opposite your co-star, you audition with wardrobe, you audition whatever. They need to be 100% certain that you're not gonna blow it, and that they're not gonna waste a bunch of money. And you should take your love life just as serious. So you have to put your ex through the paces, so to speak. You don't just take them back. You don't break no contact just because someone said that you have to build an emotional connection. And I am gonna answer that question in a minute. They need to audition and you need to make sure that they jump through all the hoops that you put them through. And the six questions, they don't just give answers like, well, why do you want me back? Oh, because I miss you. Okay, that's a reason why you want me back, but why should I take you back just because you miss me? They have to give you good answers. And I bet you that her ex probably would not have given good answers and they wouldn't have gotten back together and she wouldn't have wasted an additional two months only to be broken up with again. So obviously I don't agree with this whole emotional connection thing. And here's why. You may have heard me say this before. I heard it from Tony Robbins. I think he's the one who originated it, who knows. Anyways, he said there are studies that show that people will do more to avoid pain than to gain pleasure. And by the way, if you like what you've been hearing so far, remember to hit the like button. And I just realized I'm speaking <laughs> very passionately and very emphatically because it just really pisses me off when people give the wrong advice and then they screw up people's relationships. We have your relationships as our responsibility in our hands. And so someone giving you the wrong advice and possibly ruining your chance of getting your ex back, that it just pisses me off, okay? <laughs> okay, so... Again, people will do more to avoid pain than to gain pleasure. I say to stay in no contact, make your ex contact you unless you cheated or took them for granted in order to cause anxiety. And that will be one of the major factors in them reaching out. Now, if you contact them for this emotional connection, you're not giving them pain. You're giving them pleasure. It feels good to hear from you, on the ego to know they can get you back and plus she had a rebound that you'd never contact someone if they have a rebound unless you are trying to steal them from their rebound as I talked about in the video that I made and I'll put the link up at the right hand corner but otherwise that's the worst time to contact an ex because if they know you're waiting in the background that just means that now they can take their time with the rebound, they don't have to worry if they can get you back. And also their attitude changes towards the rebound in that they don't feel they need to put any pressure on the rebound. They don't have the anxiety with the rebound because now they know they have you. You know, it's like if you have a job and you really need it and that's the only job you have, then you're gonna be anxious about losing it. But if you know you have your old job waiting for you, then it's like, eh, whatever, if this job doesn't work, who cares? And with that kind of attitude, then their rebound would probably be even more interested in them because they see them pulling away. So now you're helping them stay with their rebound. Okay, but that's another topic. So in doing no contact, you're causing anxiety. In breaking it in order to do this emotional connection, 
you're giving them pleasure. So which one is going to work? Exactly. The anxiety, because people will do more to avoid pain than to gain pleasure. And I cannot think of one case where any of my clients or any of the sex success stories I've read or any of the comments that I've read where someone said that they reached out in order to form that emotional connection and they got their ex back. Okay, and in fact, look, this guy didn't get his ex back. She's hot and cold. Of course she is, because she's not ready. It's like putting a cake in the oven and it's supposed to be in there for 45 minutes and then you take it out at 25 minutes, you're like, this cake doesn't taste good. It's soppy, it's wet. Yeah, because it's supposed to be in there for 45 minutes. What did you expect? <laughs> okay, so please do not contact your ex to make an emotional connection. That is not what is going to get them back. I, I promise you, you have to make them anxious. And that is what is going to make them reach out to you sooner rather than later. Okay, so I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Do you agree with me or do you agree with this other coach who shall go unnamed? And in the meantime, if you would like my help to get your ex back, contact me at theartoflove.net. The direct link is below and we will send you the rates. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. If you're listening to this as a podcast, please rate and review. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens. Mm -hmm.